did not only give the prescription. He said, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. Why? He said, for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Wherever you're tuning into this channel, one verse on YouTube, I want to welcome you to week 13 of 2024 in the month of March. And this happens to be the last week of March. And I am so glad that the Lord himself is bringing this prescription to us. Though in this context, it was directly prescribed unto Joshua, the way to move forward. Remember, we're talking about breakthrough so that we might march forward as the month of March has provided opportunities for us and that we might enter into April with grand style. So this verse is very, very key. And I will please, 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 you know, beseech you to, you know, pay attention to the reminder God is bringing unto us. Yes, it's a popular verse, but trust me, I know that the Lord has a lot for us to have, you know, impressed on my heart to bring this verse unto us. We're talking about Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Can we bow our hearts in prayer? Father, I want to thank you for this opportunity. We do not take it for granted. I want to thank you that it has pleased you at this point in time to impress on my heart to bring this verse as a prescription and a reminder to all of us on one vast nation. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Speak through me. Use my vessel. Have your way. Let Jesus be glorified and let men hear you as i speak thank you in jesus mighty name we pray amen amen brethren i will not cease to appreciate you for always standing by us oh my god i was so glad and looking at the last verse we did and you know you guys are really doing a good job there by referring and sharing those verses to as many people. And I'm so glad that you are with us in this journey. I see this verse today that we're about to talk about in the last week of March as a prescription, as a reminder that the Lord is bringing unto us. You know, this was immediately the exit of Moses on this earth, and God himself appeared to Joshua to reassure him and give him a worthy prescription. Say this book of the law shall not depart out of the mouth. You shall speak it, you shall say it, you shall believe it. And thou shalt meditate upon it day and night. Come on. Brethren, have you forgotten that this book of the law happens to be our manual? The Lord is bringing to your remembrance again. When last did you sit down to, you know, read the Bible. We're not talking about study now. Just read the Bible. Because, you know, in Revelation, three times it was mentioned, blessed is he that read this prophecy. There is benefit accrued to as many that will take their time to read the Bible. Paul, talking to his son in the Lord, Timothy, he said, until I come, give attention to reading of this scripture. This is one verse I want to, you know, remind us about our earlier disclaimer that we will not be quoting any other verses. We want to 
you know, make Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 as the only verse we want to quote on this episode. The reason is because we don't want to encumber you with so many other verses, but we will bring the content from other verses to support what the Lord is reminding us about. Joshua, for you to be successful, this book of the law shall not depart out of the mouth. We are the Joshua in this generation. But eventually you are, you know, a, a parent. You are a father, you are a mother. You have your children to lead. You have people under your influence to lead. Every one of us is a leader. And for you to be a good leader, you must be a good follower. If you cannot follow the commandment of the Most High, Elohim, the monarch of Zion, how can you lead? Tomorrow is not guaranteed. You do not know what tomorrow will bring. And if the monarch of Zion is giving us a prescription that we should not let this book of the law depart out of our mouth, but we shall meditate therein. And he gave us the reason. He said, so that we might observe to do all that is written according to this law. Now, in our generation, already it was prophesied in the scripture that knowledge, knowledge will be, you know, in abundance in our time. So everyone now is propounding their own theory on what they think or they perceive the Bible will be saying. Everybody has their own theory. Remember, you know, Paul writing to Timothy, he said, in the last days, brilliant times shall come and men shall be lovers of themselves. They shall have ishi ears, you know, gathering unto them teachers that will tell them things that will lift their soul. People don't want to listen to sound doctrine. Bro, sister, you don't want to be in that church that the pastor has his own theory, his own perception. You don't want to let yourself open that every wind of doctrine should be tossing you to and fro. Now, the reason is, the Bible gives us prescription that the Berean Christians, when they hear the word, they will go back home and they will open to see whether it's in conformity of this law. No matter the church you might be, no matter the church you might be in, the servant of God can only explain according to the grace that was given unto him. Nobody can know all about God. And that happens to say that he might not know all that is included in your destiny journey. So it's expedient that you should meditate upon this book of the law day and night. And that will be, you know, an ease to the man of God. God's servant, I don't want to mention him, sometime, you know, he said, he said, during preaching, he made a statement. And one of these, you know, young, you know, lady, you know, texted him, the pastor, can you look at this statement you made? I look it up. I don't think that was the right context the statement was applied. And that is how you know, you know, people that they are at, is panting after bringing God's people to the knowledge of the truth. And he came back to church. In a church, at minimum, that gathers 5,000 souls every Sunday to announce that I was wrong with the statement I made. That simply tells us that that servant of God understands that he's a human being and is limited in knowledge. But I tell you, not all we do. I give him kudos. I appreciate God for his life to have given him that humility. 
That is not somewhere bragging that, oh, who are you to come and tell me something I've been preaching for over 30 years? Because that's what our generation boasts about. I've been in ministry for over 40 years. Thank God for the grace that I've sustained you. But brother and sister, it is expedient that we bring our listeners to the knowledge of the truth by you know, beseeching them to also search the scripture for themselves. Yes, we preach powerful messages, but we they address all the situations and all the circumstances that they will face in life. We should all advise and urge members, people of the society, people of this kingdom, to also, you know, search the scripture. For themselves look at he did not only give the prescription he said this book of the law shall not depart out of their mouth but thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein why he said for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous you see it's not that god will make your way prosperous he said you by adhering to this book of the law, you by doing all that is written according to this book of the law, you will make your way prosperous. Brethren, I see it as a good news coming to us at the last week of March. Now, paraventure, we have forgotten that the prescription is still in this book of the law. Don't wait until Sunday, then you begin to look for your Bible. No, we have. The Bible in soft copy, in our phones, in our tablets, in our laptops, at every point in time, even during your break period. If you are like me, like I have a young family, that your children want to always express themselves that they have enough strength after playing all day in school, <laughs> and they come back instead of them to have, if you ask them to have a nap, they will just have a nap for maybe one hour at most. They are up, they are running, they are screaming. There might not be enough time. Even at work, they are lunch time. Open one verse, just one verse, and meditate therein, day and night. I say, then thou will make thy way prosperous, and thou will have good success. You will make your way prosperous and you will have good success. So that also tells me that there are successes that are not good. And this also brings me to the beginning of the creation that you remember 10 times in one chapter. In the creation chapter, 10 times that the Lord supervised his own work and the check mark is for it is good. So, there is also a good success and there is also a bad success. So the prescription the Lord is giving unto us, he said, in this book of the law lies the principle meant for good success. Brethren, you know that is not in the multitude of what I will speak. But you see, I just want to make this verse brief. That we should not forget the point. Because, see, as the verse progressively outlined the recipe for our good success. He said, this book of the law shall not depart out of the mouth. For thou shall meditate day in day and night. Not I used to read before. Not I read yesterday. Not I read last week. Not I read last month. Not, oh, back then when I was in college, you know, because of, you know, the, the competition, brethren challenging each other in, in, in school, in fellowship, I used to study. No, so long as you are still alive, don't be used to study. Keep studying. Because out of it, lies the principle meant to obtain good success. 
Brethren, I believe that this is a frantic and a very expedient reminder to us. Adding to the fact that we are about to get into the new month, the month that we celebrate the crucifixion of our Lord and personal Savior. This book of the law, let it not depart out of the mouth. Let this book of the law did not depart out of the mouth. Saturate yourself with this book of the law. Make this book of the law your companion. Make this book of the law the recipe for every solution. I can bet you there is nothing you will look for in this book that you cannot find. Brethren, paraventure, you have not, you know, make your way peaceful with the Lord. It's another reminder. You see, I always share with brethren, I say, this book of the law can make you to be a better person. And at the same time, reading this book without the Holy Spirit can make you to be the worst criminal. The difference is the Holy Spirit. And of course, you know, without being born again, you cannot receive the Spirit of the living God. Yes, let me put, let me balance that statement that I made. You see, every one of us is created in the image of God and Bible says God breathed into man and we become a living soul. You have the Spirit of God inside of you. But you see, because of the fall of man, you might not really understand or give or, 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 or give into when the Spirit is prompting you. Because you need grace. You need mercy to be able to tap into that. And that is the provision Jesus gave us. He said he came unto his own, his own receiving not. But as many that believe on his name to them, he gave power to become sons of God. He take power to do good. He take power to obey the Holy Spirit. It will take spiritual, divine power to be able to stand in face of adversary. Can we bow our hearts in prayer? Lord, today, I thank you because you are faithful. I thank you because you will do more than I ask. Father, even this little token, oh Lord, I pray that as this word come forth, let it be a great reminder to every one of us that will pay attention to it. Take all that glory. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. And amen. Until I come your way again, remember every 3 p.m. on Monday, Central Day Time, another verse will be streaming on one verse. Please don't keep it to yourself. Share with family and friends. God loves you. Shalom.